In this video, we are going to transform these nails, learn how to do acrylic, ombre and 3D flowers, and I will reply to the most frequent question on YouTube and Instagram. Anastasia, which forms do you use for your videos? Coming up! Hello guys, this is Anastasia. Today we will be doing acrylic extensions and 3D flowers. I missed this technique so much because for some reason I haven't been doing it for a while. But maybe five to six years ago it was so popular among my clients that I used to do it almost every day. First we start by pushing back the cuticles with orange wood stick. We just socked off acrylic nails, that's why the nails are matte already and we do not need to take off the surface shine. Then I'm going to do some dry manicure electric file prep. Using a flame bead, I'm cleaning the cuticles and pushing up the aponychium. This is flame bead with red abrasive mark. This is my first time working with this client and I used to work with her twin sister before and they're not identical but their nails and hands and skin are definitely. Then I trim the aponychium and let me show you which products we're about to use. Tones, glass and cover pink powders, acrylic liquid, four colors of acrylic powders for ombre and the design, forms by tones, I absolutely love those, as well as the brush, this is number 10. After I fit the form, I apply dehydrator and non-acid primer. You probably noticed that I'm fitting the form almost the same way I would for stilettos. As today, I'm going to do different style of almonds that I usually do. These ones are going to be almost pointed. I will start with the base. This is glass by Tones. I worked with this brand for quite a while now. I think it's been over a year and I totally love their forms. You definitely have seen them in most of my videos. I use this acrylic brush a lot as well and their color acrylics are just awesome. This color is 113 neon pink color and what I like about them is that the pigment is really intense, like you don't really need a thick layer to get the color. You've just seen it, I applied clear as the foundation and I'm applying pink on top, so I don't need to build the entire nail out of pink only to get a beautiful rich color and an ombre. Then I will add another bead in the center and blend it towards the free edge and then towards the cuticle. Every time I'm doing medium or long nails, I usually use at least two or sometimes three beads to do color fade. Because with short nails you can definitely do it in just one bead, but I really like to work on the blending so we will have a perfect color fade. For the cuticle area I'm using cover pink color. It's a bit transparent, which I think makes it just perfect for this kind of neon ombre. Keep in mind that every time you do color blending, you need to blend both colors, bottom one as well as the top one. And then another bead will be right near the cuticle and I will blend it downwards and do not forget to do the cuticle work. This is very important to achieve a beautiful enhancement and to not have any product lifting. If you're happy with your ombre in color but notice that some spots are still missing the product, you can use clear powder. We decided to go with different colors, so each nail will have a different shade. This one will be yellow. This is number 106. Yellow color is one of the hardest to work with, in my opinion, and also usually they are pretty hard to blend, but I definitely enjoyed working with this one. It's not exactly neon yellow, I would say it's classic yellow, but it's still very bright. Once the product is set, we can carefully take off the form, always do it only downwards and if you want you can also pinch the nail, but this is not necessary. Then we are going to do the shaping and filing. When I'm working with acrylic, sometimes I use carbide bead with green abrasive mark, cone shape. The speed is 22,000 rotations per minute. 
First, I usually do sidewalls and cuticle area, and then I slightly file the surface. Then I will switch to the hand file to do the shaping, and I'm using Tones files as well. This is so rare when you have a brand where you like every single product. For example, I love using Half Moon shaped files, and also I love using 180, and sometimes for acrylic nails I also need 150 grit file. And this is what this brand has. I usually use the hand file to file the sidewalls, the shape itself, and then I slightly file the surface as well to make it smooth and create a beautiful curve. I love buffing the nails at the end as well, and I'm going to use 100-180 buffer. For acrylic, we will use only 180 grit side. This makes the surface very smooth, without any scratches, and it's also important to work on the cuticle area, not only on the surface itself. This will also help you to prevent possible product lifting. We're almost done. I already like this matte look, maybe we should leave it like that. But remember, I had plans for 3D flowers, so we definitely need to seal them with the top coat and cure in LED lamp for one minute first. Or you can just leave them buffed and matte, do some 3D flowers on top and then seal with the top coat, but I definitely prefer shiny nails and matte flowers. Let's get started. I'm using the exact same powder I used for ombre for 3D flowers, and it works great. I'm using a small brush number 4, taking a small bead, create it into triangle, and once the bead is matte, then it is time to press it and create the petal. We are going to do some abstract flowers, so I do not know for sure how many petals we will have, probably about 3. Once you place the bead, then you need to create the triangle facing the center of the flower, and once it's matte, you need to press on it. If you're working in the room where it is pretty cold, then it's going to take a while, so if it's possible, you may want to heat it up a little, let's say, take some heating equipment and put it closer to you, because for 3D art, we definitely want monomer to set up faster. I like the idea of using the same color for the background and the same color for the flowers. It's still going to look a bit different, since the color underneath is also blended with the nude color and it's covered with a top coat and on top we'll have it bright and matte. First flower will be the biggest one, so for the next one we need to use a smaller size beads, so the flower will be smaller as well. When I'm done with the flowers, it is time to put something in the center, so I decided to use the same color and pierce these beads, so we will have this kind of center. You can also use rhinestones, caviar beads or different color for the flowers, but for some reason in this design I wanted them to look like it's monochrome, the same color. Let me guys know what do you think, and I will leave all the links to the products I used in the description box. Thank you so much for watching, if this is your first time here on my channel, consider subscribing, as I post new nail art tutorials and product reviews, just like this one every week. See you in my next one, goodbye!